You know, I was very excited when the rumors came out about the Series 7 having the flat edges. And then I watched the keynote and I was very disappointed. And that's why I still have the Series 5 Apple Watch. Apple, here's a word of advice. If you want your customers to upgrade their Apple Watch, you really have to change the design. All right, so I'm going to say it. the Series 7, it didn't really offer anything that would make users run out and give Apple their money. You know, we did get a slightly larger screen and that's pretty much it. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what to expect uh, from the Series 8. We're also going to be discussing some other options that Apple will be offering in 2022. But before we get into other details, we should be looking at a new ruggedized Apple Watch, which has been in a rumor mill for some time now. And we should also be expecting a new Apple Watch SE. But first, let's start off with the Series 8 and what we should be expecting announced at the iPhone keynote this year. While this is not exciting, we got some news from my buddy Mark over at Bloomberg who was suggesting that the new Series 8 will have a faster processor, which is great, but let's find out what this new faster processor is going to do for us. You know, Apple better not pull one of those M1 iPad scenarios where you have this faster processor, but you're not using it for its full capability. All right, so if you look at the history of the Apple Watch, you know that you normally don't see a new processor every year. In most cases, you see a new processor every other year, so we're definitely due for a new faster processor when these processors are released with the new Apple Watch. Normally, we see somewhere around a 20% adjustment, and my guess is with this new processor, we should see some new sensors in this watch to take advantage of the faster processing. Now, one of the features that has been rumored for some time now is Apple is working on a sensor to measure your blood glucose level but apparently this process is very difficult to do. And as you guys know, when you need to measure your blood glucose level, you normally have to prick your finger, particularly if you're a diabetic. And apparently this is something that Apple has been trying to release, but it's it's very difficult. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see this function in the next Series 8 Apple Watch. But I will say if anyone can do it, it's, it's definitely Apple. Uh, I think it's, it's very tricky because what Apple is trying to do they're trying to make this process very non-invasive. So let's look at some more realistic features that you may see in a Series 8 smartwatch. And that is that your Series 8 smartwatch can measure your body temperature. This is something that I think is definitely great due to the fact that COVID, you know, is still alive. And it would be great to be able to monitor your body temperature on the go. Now, I won't be surprised as we go back into the office that employers will frequently take employees temperature uh, to check for signs of COVID. So it will be good to know your temperature before your employer takes it. Funny enough, we got our son an Apple Watch. We didn't get him the latest one, but we got him a Series 6. You know, but there has been on some occasions that he, he would definitely suggest that he's not feeling well at school and he would want me and my wife to pick him up. I don't think this watch, this Series 8 watch, would be his you know best friend if he tries to pull this trick off because, you know, the Series 8 watch is going to know your body temperature. So... That is probably it for new sensors on a Series 8 smartwatch. You know, just the body temperature, according to Mark Gurman. Now, moving from a hardware standpoint to a software standpoint, we should see some improvements on the software front. In my last video, we discussed how the next Apple Watch would be able to determine if the user gets into a car crash. Of course, like fall detection, this would alert emergency dispatchers of the location of the crash automatically uh, if the user you know finds himself in a position where they're not able to call the dispatcher which i think in the long run will save lives and you really can't put a price on other than that mark german does discuss with activity tracking we should see some improvements he really didn't give details on which exercises would see these improvements but if history repeats itself i wouldn't be surprised if we see some additional exercises available on the series 8 apple watch for activity tracking also according to mark german the next apple watch will have multiple reserve modes currently right now we can put the apple watch in power reserve mode and for the most part it will tell us the time and that's Pretty much it. The update to watchOS now will give users the ability to choose which applications will continue to run while disabling others that are not needed in situations where the battery is low. Other than that, we should get some additional watch faces, according to our buddy Mark. You know, I will say the last time I was really excited about new watch faces is when Apple released the Toy Story watch face, which were very cool. So I would be very happy if we got some additional animated watch faces. Other than that, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Apple, will we see that flat edge design this year or will we be disappointed with another year of the same old same old you know i feel like 
we're entering a, a loop with the uh, Apple Watch if we don't see a new design. It kind of reminds me of the iPhone 6 when that came out and we seen the same curve edge design until the release of the iPhone 12. So it took like six years before we even seen a new design. This could definitely be the case with the Series 8. And again, Apple, if you are watching, if you don't, you know, give us a new design, I personally will not be upgrading. I think the sensors and the processor is great, but I want people to know that I have the latest Apple Watch. I know I'm in my 40s, but I do like to flex sometime. So let's transition over to a watch that I mentioned a little bit early in the video, and that is a ruggedized Apple Watch. Now, Mark didn't give us too many details of this watch, but it is supposed to be very affordable according to Mark. So I, I would expect this watch to be larger, uh, a larger Apple Watch compared to what's on the market right now. So we could potentially see a Apple Watch in the realm of a 46 to a 48 millimeter size. And what does a size increase mean for us? It should provide a larger footprint for a longer lasting battery since the body is larger. Now we could potentially see anywhere from two to three days of usage before recharging, which I think is a huge benefit now in terms of cost for the ruggedized edition of the Apple Watch. Mark didn't give us any details. He didn't know and Neither do I. I will say it's going to be made of plastic and I'm sure it's going to be made of a very luxurious plastic because that's just how Apple does things. But the plastic associated watch will add uh, durability, obviously. And I think it potentially could extend the depth for underwater for a longer period of time. All right, let's finish up and talk about the poor man's Apple Watch, the Apple Watch SE. Or I guess in this case, the Apple Watch SE 2. And I was actually just joking about, you know, this being a poor man's Apple Watch because pretty much nothing Apple sells is for, you know, someone who's on a, a tight budget. Um, but but these products, they're just priced reasonably compared to their flagship Series 8 Apple Watch. So it's probably not going to get Apple's latest processor. But I do think it's going to get a faster processor than what's on the current Apple Watch SE. Other than that, you're probably not going to get too much else in terms of additional functionality for the SE 2. Uh, since it is a budget smartwatch, you know, Apple is, is always trying to entice us to spend a little bit more money and go with their flagship smartwatch. So I think Apple would intentionally leave out features. Now, one feature I think the SE2 will have, that is the always on display, but I don't see it going past the faster processor and the always on display. Now, Apple is currently selling the Apple Watch Series 3 for 200 bucks. You know, I don't see the Series 3 being available after the announcement of the Series 8. So I do wonder if we could potentially see the Gen 1 SE hang around at that $200 price point. I feel like that's a very comfortable price for most consumers, but I, I definitely think the Series 3 is gone. So rest in peace. So I'm out of gas. I don't have any other rumors for you guys. So we definitely have a lot of moving parts for the Apple Watch this year. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're excited about this year with the Apple Watch. For me, it's definitely the new design. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys watching and take care.